Today we will be discussing about mechanism of flight in birds. What is the physics behind the flight of birds? What are the forces acting on this? What are the aerodynamic properties? All over will be covered in this topic. We see the birds around. Every bird has got its own wing type. Every bird has got its different type of wings. We see elliptical wings. We see soaring wings. There are different types of wings. So you might be thinking that there is the mechanism would be different for other birds too. But the mechanism is the same for every bird. Let's put the case of hummingbird aside because they have the different mechanism for flight. We will see. We will discuss it later on. What's the physics behind the hummingbird's mechanism later on? Let's start with the why birds fly. Birds fly due to the four reasons: feeding, breeding, avoiding predators, and for migration purposes. There's the main reason behind the birds' flight. Now getting to our point, mechanism of flight in birds is based on two main points: Bernoulli's principle and aerodynamic properties. We will discuss these one by one. First, we will discuss the Bernoulli's theorem. Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle can be defined mathematically as v is inversely proportional to p. What v and p is? v is velocity and p is the pressure. That means v is directly proportional to 1 by p. This is the same case. So where v is higher, p should be lesser there because they are the inversely proportional to each other and this is the case with the Bernoulli's principle. Actually the Bernoulli's principle applies for idle fluid flow. But here in case of birds, we see there is no fluid flow but there is ear that interacts with the wing wing acts as a solid and the ear acts as a fluid flow diagrammatically we can see how ear interacts with the wing the ear flow just when it comes towards the bird the ear bifurcates in two ways one over the wing and another below the wing that's beneath the wing there's a displacement of ear towards the wing that causes the lifting of the bird that causes the force due to the lift now the question arises how there is pressure difference how there is velocity difference on above and below the wing and how it aids in the lifting of the wing we see the ear foil or we can say the wing when the ear bifurcates it goes on the upper side and the lower side we see the structure or shape of the wing is as such that the upper surface is the convex and lower surface is the concave and the concave side of the wing that has the low surface area you know that and the convex has the more surface area and the ear is displaced more on the convex surface because it has got more surface area and on beneath the side we have got less surface area that means there will be less displacement and on the upper side so on the upper side of the wing there will be more displacement that means there will be less pressure and where there is less pressure according to Bernoulli's theorem there will be more velocity so on upper side of the wing there will be more velocity that means the less pressure and vice versa for the beneath the wing when upper side has got low pressure lower side has got high pressure this is what the Bernoulli's theorem says because pressure and velocity are the opposite or inversely proportional to each other and due to this pressure difference above and beneath the wing it lifts the wing up and there is a drag force is less there and there is power movement of the bird and lifting of the bird which causes the bird to fly now let's jump towards aerodynamics aerodynamics is a branch of science which deals with the interaction of air with solid objects and how air moves around these solid objects the air exhibits different types of force on the wing and this force can be resolved into vertical lift component perpendicular to the ear and a backward drag component parallel to the ear string. We see the force due to gravitation that is universally denoted by Fmg, lift force denoted by Fl, thrust force denoted by Ft, drag force denoted by Fd and gravitational force which is denoted by Fg. Now conditions for a bird to fly. FL there is the force due to lift that must be equal or greater than FG. FT must be greater than FD. There is the force of thrust should be greater than drag force otherwise the bird cannot fly. You can see in this diagram the lift force, the drag force, the weight that is the force due to gravitation and the thrust. The lift force and thrust force that are the two positive forces 
due to which the bird flies and weight and drag force are the negative forces due to which the birds cannot fly because they resist the flight of birds. This was all about mechanism of flight in birds. Now the next video will cover the hummingbird's flight because it has got some new physics to it. Guys thanks for watching and do subscribe to my channel.